Ooh. Wow. This is really pretty. Moss. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. Forever. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent. The king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching oh, his no. glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. Whoa! The bride. That oh. hero albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. <laughs> so cute. Hello. Will was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in. But she wondered what she might find if she went just so a little farther. Check that out. Oh, look at the cute little bag. What's that? Oh, bird's gonna get ya. <gasps> oh. Pick it up, pick it up. So cute. It's so nice. The grass. Puts it in the bag. What was that? So this is the tree. She's not exactly sure what she roused. Where the hero but died. she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. Oh, I am the being. <laughs> Looking down at you. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close and night would follow. Hurry. Oh, I have to. 
Make sure you are hurry. Run, forest, run. Oh, so pretty. Ah! Come on. Jump. He's pointing. Look at the little flowers. Ah, oh, so cute. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's a nice tree. I like these ferns. All right, um, nothing down there. Uh, okay. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was oh, most present. so cute. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Get down. Get down. That's the button. X. X. And then... Oh. There you go. Oh, so cute. Look how cute it is. Hello. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Trees are so nice. Like a little town. Let's hurry. That's blocked. So let's head down here. Looks like the gate to the town. <laughs> You're in the way. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I like how the character's looking at him. Wow. I'll try and move far, uh, slow. Look at all the houses. This is so adorable. Look at the little ones running home. Go say hello. Say hello. Oh no, we can't go in. Hello. <laughs> And interact. We 
can't go across. So I we'll have to climb up there. Where do we climb up? Um, I don't see any white. Oh! The wheel. <gasps> oh, almost fell in. Sorry, my darling. Now. Some sort of parchment. This is so cute. <laughs> really adorable. What does it want me to do? Oh yeah, we can jump there. Anna, Anna. Oh no, no, no. We're gonna die. We died. Oh. Sorry. Um, won't be able to jump on top of it there. No. I have to go all around. 